In this video, we are doing a first impressions review of these. The Nike Zoom X Zigar. I thought this would be a little bit different in terms of doing a first impressions initial runs review, um, quite literally after I finished my third run in those. So there are the new Zoomex Nike Trail Zigama. Um, a lot of excitement about the shoe, but I, was, I wanted literally to finish the run, my third run, uh, and let you know my first thoughts on the shoe. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so let me know in the comments if this is the most random initial shoe review you've ever seen in your life. Uh, I'm literally, yeah, just at the park, just finished. <laughs> so, anyway, right, so where do we start? Okay, let's talk a little bit first about the Zagama. I don't want to spend too much time on it, so I want to get into my first impression. So, the Zagama is the um, Zoom X trail shoe from Nike. Uh, I think, I may be wrong, let me know in the comments, this is the first uh, trail shoe featuring the famous um, Zoom X, although, We'll come on to it in a bit. There's not actually that much Zoom X here, I think, uh, personally. Uh, we've got a weight of over 11 ounces in my UK 9.5. It does fit true to size, which is good news. Um, we've got, let's go, where do we go? Let's start, Danny. I don't know how much the sound's going to pick up on this, but we've got a engineered mesh here. We've got like a gator here to keep out the rocks and stuff, which it doesn't. Uh, we've got sidewalls built up on the medial uh, and lateral sides to try and help some of the stability. We've got lugs on the shoe. See that pattern? Uh, now they are about four millimeters in depth apparently and they are multi-directional in terms of trying to uh, max out the grip. It is bone dry here in the UK. So uh, I've got no idea what it's like on wet surfaces. We've been up into the uh, Broxbourne Woods. We've been um, down through the canal pass on uh, gravel, on bridle paths, on tow paths, uh, across grass. A little bit of road work, uh, but mainly forest work um, and that kind of stuff. So I've got no idea about what it's like with rocks and, and sort of more technical stuff. Yeah, if, you, if you're new to the channel, my, t uh, my trail running is very limited in terms of technical stuff. Okay, so just put that out there. Um, what else with the shoe? Uh, so I've told you the weight, it's 145 pounds. I believe it's got a five mil drop, I may be wrong. Uh, 37 mil stack in the heel, apparently. And I think that's about it. In terms of weight, just to give you an idea, because I've got them here, look, barefoot, because uh, I'm putting these on now, uh, these weigh an ounce lighter. Okay, so on the, the foot, we've got like a eyelet section here in terms for midfoot lockdown, which is okay. Uh, it does come up quite high here. So if you need a runner's knot, you can have a bit of a disaster because it will cut across the front, the top here of your foot, it's not ideal. Uh, as you can see, I've not put a runner's knot on them. There is a reason for that, but I've not been slipping around that much. Uh, we've got the usual terrible Nike quality. It's been thrown together. I don't know if you can see that glue, but it's been thrown together by, well, I won't get into that, but um, not very well is what I would say. Um, the quality is suspect. I do like, i tell you what I do like, just to, before I really go to town, and I do like the actual upper um, and the overall feel of the upper, the little different bits. They say it's been designed for trail. I kind of dig it, to be honest with you. Uh, I like the uh, fit, true to size. Uh, I like the toe box. The width in the toe box is good. There's plenty of in there. Um, it's got a little bit of a bumper on the front. It's got a, a stone or rock plate underneath it. See that in yellow? But it doesn't do a very good job. Um, in particular on like the, the mild, lumpy and bumpy stuff that I've been running along. It's, you can still feel it, so I'm not really sure what that is and why it's there, because it's not really doing anything. Um, it feels exactly the same as the trail fours I've got down there um, in terms of the protection underfoot. 
Uh, what else? I think that's it in terms of stats and features. Uh, the tongue's okay, it's nice and thin, a little bit of padding across the front, so you can get a nice um, tight lacing on it and doesn't pinch too much across your own foot. Right, I think that's it in terms of me being nice now. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, right, so in terms of um, where we're at with this shoe, first impressions, initial runs, say three runs only at the moment, so you could argue that that's not enough. Um, one of them was three miles, two of them were six miles, um, with a little bit of variation in both of those. But there's, there's nothing here you need, right? This, this, firstly, the weight is a problem. Um, if you're looking for this shoe for it as a proper trail shoe, stay away from it, it's too heavy. God only knows how much this would weigh uh, if you started putting water through it and stuff. It, you know, it's, it's going to go up, what, ounce, ounce to maybe two ounces? Uh, in terms of grams, it's 330-something grams, I think. Um, but yeah, as soon as you start putting water and mud on this thing, it's going to be like a brick. In terms of the feel, now I think Nike have been a bit naughty here. I'd love to know how much Zoomex is in this shoe because they put a carrier foam in it. And sorry, I missed that in the stats and features, but this has got a carrier foam. It's got SRO2 in it. And that, what that means is that the uh, Zoomex is protected by uh, a carrier foam. So we've got the um, same foam that's in the Vomero. Now, what that means is it's a much more rubberized and, and um, sort of traditional feeling midsole. It's not anywhere near Zoomex. And I'd love to know the percentage of Zoomex in this shoe. Because what I think Nike have done is they've said, oh, this has got Zoom X in it, so it's awesome. Um, and everyone rushes out to buy it. But actually, the, probably the amount of Zoom X in this is, is, is debatable. Like, for example, right, you could buy a pair of Asics Kayanos, um, Asics, Asics Jabuco Max, and you could probably cut a little bit of your Alpha Flies, sellotape that onto the Jabuco Max, and then claim that's got Zoom X in it. It's that kind of same feeling here. I wonder how much. Zoom X is in this with this carrier foam because the, the feeling is not Zoom X. The feeling is a soft, bouncy uh, carrier foam. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like Zoom X. And if you've run in Zoom X, you know what Zoom X feels like. This doesn't feel like Zoom X. Now, I appreciate that if you put Zoom X on the trail shoe, it's probably going to be a disaster. So they needed to put a carrier foam on it. And that makes sense. And as I said, build up the sidewalls, the lateral medial sides to protect you in terms of stability. But actually, the feeling of Zoom X... It, is non-existent here it, it really is it doesn't feel like zoom x does so okay where do we go next in terms of the grip it's all right for the stuff i've done um the shoe's been you know comfortable i know i don't lick along uh, when i'm doing trails i like just to plod along and have some fun right but i much prefer being in my tecton x which is a carb plate shoe so it's completely irrelevant for this review but i also prefer these the Trail 4s. The Trail 4s do just as good a job as those. And you can pick these up for under £100. So I don't, I, I don't get why you'd buy that when you could buy this. Now, the grip and the lug patterns, all right, it's not as traily, but this, this, I don't know, this just feels like a Wellington boot. If you know, do you know what a Wellington boot is? Let me know in the comments here in the UK. But it's just oversized and it's overweight. I, I, I'm struggling. I really am struggling this time around. Now, I got hammered the other day because apparently I'm too negative. Too negative and too... There's a difference between negativity and honesty, apparently. So I'm trying not to be negative. But I can't help it because I get frustrated with Nike when they, they say, oh, it's got Zoom X on it. So everyone goes out and buys it, but it's got, it doesn't feel like Zoom X. Now, again, again, appreciate they can't put Zoom X, too much Zoom X on the shoe because it would be massively unstable. It wouldn't be durable and it just it just wouldn't work on the trails so why bother doing it why not come up with a new phone do you see what i mean they're trying to cheat us by saying this has got zoom x in it when i wonder how much it actually does have in it i wonder about the durability of the shoe uh all right it's got the carrier foam in it but i wonder about the durability of the outsole we'll have to wait and see um and also <laughs> would you want to wear this on like a long distance trail run i wouldn't I absolutely wouldn't. I'd rather much wear... Like I've got run up Ben Nevis. Um, yeah, Ben Nevis. I wouldn't wear this up, Ben Nevis. I wouldn't. I'd rather wear the Trail 4s. But I'll get... I say, I've got the Tecton X, which I think is a, you know, is a better trail shoe. And this is the thing. If you're buying a trail shoe, you want a trail shoe. You don't want something that's overweight and, and it's going to give you problems when you're on those trails. I just... Oh, I don't know. It's, it's like we're all getting... Like I bought these deliberately to try and find out what they're like, but 
It's like Nike are trying to suck us all into this Zoom X party, and it, and it doesn't simply exist. It really doesn't. I, apart from the Alpha Fly and the Vapor Fly, I don't know of a shoe from Nike now that actually really does any good versus the competition. Yes, you could argue the Zoom Fly 5 was misunderstood. I get that, but again, look at my videos on that. There's, there's absolutely, there's no reason to spend 145 pounds on the Zagama. Absolutely none whatsoever. If you want to do anything, if you want to spend money on Nike trail shoes, get, get the Peg Trail 4, yeah? It's a brilliant shoe, does exactly what you want. React Foam's awesome, and that's it. So, yeah, bit of a random review in the park but i had to, i had to talk about it i had to get it off my chest people so there we go there's nike zagama i just wouldn't bother i really wouldn't don't don't waste your money if you're after a trail, a trail shoe people go and look elsewhere do not buy the nike zagama okay small caveat before we finish this is only initial runs initial impressions i will come back i will do a performance review i've got 10 miles uh trail run in a couple of weeks we're going to take these out see how we get on but at the moment yeah, really, 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 really do not bother with the Zagama.